So, hello everyone. Now I'm going to show the Wi-Fi jammer using the GNU radio and Bladerif device. Using the Bladerif device. So first we need we have some couple of blocks using the GNU radio companion. And as you can see, we have the noise source, Osmocom sync, and uh, Kitu GNU radio GNU, uh, graphical user interface sync. And we have the device for testing for testing the Wi-Fi jammer. As you can see, currently we connected this network, and its frequency is 2,412 megahertz. And in order to jam this uh, network, we need to send the same same frequency using this Bladerif 2.0 device and here as you can see it's also mentioned 2. Point, uh, same same frequency range is mentioned here and we can ch change and update it based on our frequency range and as, a, as soon as I start this uh, generator companion blocks and see it's running now and Yes, it starts. It it started, and it's now it's transmitting the signal, and now we can test our network. How we do we have access to the network or not? And here I open the new page, and it's cognitive, and we it will not take any uh, data from the history. And let's write try to check the Google Translate. Google Translate. Google Translate and yeah, as you can see it's really slow it's really slow and and yeah yeah you can see that there is a uh, sign that network is correctly unavailable and it is not working perfectly and as you can see this site cannot be reached it means like now we are we are currently jamming the uh, network with sending the same frequency and you see there's, there's a sign no internet and here we are sending the data using the blood uh, frequency with using bloodrif 2.0 device and here it's GNU radio companion and it can work and jam wi-fi signals using this scenario thank you